Hi guys, it's Bella. Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to show you guys my apartment tour. So this is actually my college apartment tour and everything was inspired by Parisian and mid-century design. I'm such a huge fan of it. Everything is luxury on a budget because this is a college apartment tour and anything that I can find I will link down below. Without further ado, I'm super excited to show you guys so let's get started. So we're going to start off with the dining room. I'm going to give you guys real quick an overview of it. Here I have these rock holders that hold our keys and our face mask. And then to keep with the white theme, I have a white side table and a white bowl that just holds Bambi's dog stuff for whenever we take her on walks. Over here I have these double layered curtains. I thought it would look more aesthetically pleasing because it kind of looked bland just being the blush colored one. Over here I have these geometric curtain rods. I got this from Target and originally they were silver and I decided to spray paint it gold. I have another one that's in my bedroom too that's like that. Over here we just have this two pack print that I actually got from Target and it's all gold. Over here we have a bar cart that I decided to use it as a tea cart because I needed a place to put all my tea stuff. So I just have my whisk, the bowl that goes with it, and then this little container that I use with the frother. Over here we have this tea holder that's rose gold, I absolutely love it. And then going to the dining table, I have this tulip table that I actually got from Amazon. Everything that has to do with the dining set is from Amazon, including the mid-century chairs, they just didn't come together. And then I found this candle at Target, I was so excited, I love the design of it. Usually it's pretty expensive, but this one was only 20 bucks at Target. Over here we have these two matching bar stools, I actually got them for Walmart for only 15 bucks. Since we're not really going to be using them, I thought it was perfect, the wood matched the wood that's around our kitchen, and the white one with the furniture theme is staying white. Over here we have our washer and dryer, it's a stacked one. So I just have this little sign over here that I got from like the cheap section at Target. And I have a little pod holder too. So when you're on your way to the kitchen, we have this gold, antique gold actually, mirror that I got from Amazon. I actually use it for photos or I'll use it as a tray if I, I wanna put it on my dressing table and decorate it with just like little items like perfume or jewelry. It also makes for a great decoration just like this. It doesn't look even like fake yellow at all. It's a very like antique bronze color. And down here I have Bambi's food bowl and water bowl. And then we also have a little mat that I got from Urban Outfitters. So I'm gonna give you guys an overview of the kitchen. Starting over here, I have this marble paper towel holder that I actually got from TJ Maxx. You'll notice in this apartment there's a lot of stuff from TJ Maxx and Ross. I like to go there just to get a good discount. And I have this really aesthetically pleasing sleek white tea kettle. It's electric. And I have this gold bowl just to tie in more gold accents into the kitchen. This is my sink. So like I said, I like to tie in accents of gold into the kitchen. So I have this sponge holder. And of course I have a pink sponge, why would I not? This is my favorite brand that has to do with like soaps, like hand soaps, dishwasher soaps. And then you'll see also I have the spray bottles. Over here I had an extra gold and marble tray that used to be in my room as decoration. Now I just put it underneath this cookie jar. I got this inspiration from the Kardashians actually. And over here I just have my prized possession, my Dyson. And then we have a step stool trash can down here. I tried to organize it as best I could. So we have Dyson stuff right here. Over here we have cleaning supplies. Like I said, I love the Myers brand. So I have their limited edition peppermint one. They have it during the holidays. And I have a backup of it too. So over here also we have these like towels that I use when I'm cleaning the house. I have a pink toolbox back there and my favorite trash bags, which is the Mediterranean Lavender. And then we have some dishwasher detergent. Also in this box, this is just stuff that has to do with the house. So like paint, light bulbs, all that good stuff. Right next to it, I have my dishwasher. I have this thing that I got from Amazon. It spins around. And this is my Chico State alum flag. Hopefully I will be graduating this semester. Attention over here, I have a air fryer. One of my friends on Instagram who actually has an Instagram that has to do with food, health, and fitness. 
she always made meals with this and they looked amazing so me and my boyfriend decided to split it and it's been one of the best decisions ever since it's my favorite adult purchase over here i just have this white holder holding all these um, silver utensils so going into the drawers i have just like miscellaneous stuff that has to do not exactly like spoons and knives and stuff but you know like scissors a lemon squeezer this helps clean hydro flask all the good stuff i tried to separate it as much as i could and in this one we just have silverware i have my gold straws that i absolutely love i got them on amazon and then we have some measuring stuff in a bottle opener in this cabinet i have just my pots and pans most of them are from tj maxx or ikea over here in this one we have cutting boards and we have a hard boiled egg maker and a mini waffle maker i absolutely love both of those over here we just keep our containers not to mention i also have this step stool that i got from tj maxx i absolutely love it i tried so hard to find one like this it's definitely like a mid-century chic this is probably my favorite part of the kitchen is our cabinet that holds all of our dishes. I made sure to stick with the theme of white and clear. Most of the stuff, honestly like 100% of the stuff is from Ikea. So turning our attention over here, I just have these white appliances, which I'm super, super grateful for. I'm a white kind of gal. I decided just to match it with two towels from Ikea. And down here underneath the oven, we just have stuff that we bake with. Here I have something that was in the back to school section that's technically for lockers, but I just put Polaroids on it. I thought it was really, really cute. It's missing a couple Polaroids though. And over here I have this gold watering can. I absolutely love it. I know it's weird to like be obsessed with a watering can, but I am. Actually, originally I wanted one from H&M that was 30 bucks, but nobody's got time for that in college to pay $30 for a watering can. So I ended up finding this at TJ Maxx and it was only 10 bucks. I'm gonna go into the freezer. Nothing too exciting. We just have like, you know, the normal frozen foods like Rob's parents always give us a meat. So I put it in there. I have my jade roller, ice. Over here, this is just more like vegetables and this is more like fruits. Going into the fridge, we just have these organizers for like bread, condiments, chocolate, some eggs, a Brita. Rob has his own, but he has a fridge in his bedroom. We have some just containers. This is actually my favorite beer. It's really, really light in calories, really good. Just like some normal stuff. So turning our attention over here, this is our pantry that's in the hallway. I'll give you guys a little bit of an overview. Okay, so let's get started. This is our Christmas decoration. This is Bambi's dog food, and this is Halloween decorations. Over here, I just have these white bins separating bags, except this is actually Bambi's doggy pads. This is non-reusable bags that we try just to use for trash or cleaning up dog poop. And over here, we have reusable bags. Up here, we have paper towels. This is our oven mitts. We just have some bag clips. This is Bambi's like special dog food when she, you know, it's having a special occasion. These are her dog trash bags. And then this is a juice like carrier for the local juice place when I recycle my bottles. Up here we have these acrylic containers that I got from TJ Maxx. These two are for Rob. This one's for me. Over here is for like pastas, um, any dry food like that. And then over here we have some canned foods. Going up here, we have a little spice rack holder. As you can tell, we're in love with Trader Joe's. <laughs> like all of our spices are from them. And I have these three white containers. This just holding stuff like uh, nutritional yeast, honey. These are like my powders, like my matcha and my protein powder. And right here is oils, like spray oil, avocado oil, truffle oil. And again, these acrylic containers are from TJ Maxx. They came in a set. These are like liquids that we would use for um, recipes. These are more like dry stuff, like flour, chia seeds, um, flaxseed meal, all that good stuff. And over here, Rob keeps his soups. Okay, so let's move on to the living room. We're gonna have Bambi joining us on her little tulip chair because she refuses to leave. So here is an overview. Like I said, this is all luxury on a budget, really inexpensive things. I'll have things linked down below too. 
Starting over here, I have this little side table. I found it at Ross for only 40 bucks, and I actually got the inspiration from Restoration Hardware, who had like a $400 side table that looked exactly like this. And then I just have my Prada and Dior coffee table books. I have a candle that was made in a glass that I made myself. Um, I thrifted that, and I also thrifted the vase over here too, with the fake flower. And this is my favorite part of the room. This is my little mushroom lamp. I absolutely am obsessed with it. Yeah, and it was really inexpensive because I know a lot of people want to do mushroom lamps and they can range up to 300 bucks. This guy I believe was 70 and then I just waited for a sale. If I have to give you guys a tip when it comes to Urban Outfitters is just wait until whatever you want goes back on sale because they tend to cycle out sales. And also remember the longer you stay on their website, the more points you earn towards a $5 off reward. It's kind of weird that I know that. And then I have this tulip chair from Target. This is where Bambi likes to sleep. And then she has her little sheep. Over here, this is a great bargain. I got this from Walmart and it's a mid-century design couch. It's pretty comfortable. I'm not gonna sit here and lie and be like, oh my gosh, it's amazing, it's like a cloud. But it's still pretty comfortable and it was only 250 bucks from Walmart. So I was really impressed with it because we just needed a really cheap couch to get us through college type of thing until we get out of here. I have this pink pillow and kind of matching it, I have this little footrest, an ottoman. It has some gold legs to it. And over here, I have a Sinlig candle from Ikea. Those are really popular. This smells like vanilla. It is my favorite scent in this entire world. Over here also, I have this side table that's able to kind of go into the couch, which is really nice. I got it from Ross. And then to match it, I have this marble coaster that I actually got from Bath & Body Works. They made their lids like that one time and I bought a couple of them and now I use that as a coaster. Over here, I have this print. It was really inexpensive to do. I only bought the print online. It was like 15 bucks for the print itself. And then I found this in like the clearance section at Michael's for like five bucks. And then I added a little white back into it so that way the picture fit into the frame. I think it turned out really, really good. Over here, which kind of dominates the entire wall, I love it, it's very simple, is this circle gold mirror that I got from Target. Here is my little bean coffee table. I got it from Amazon. Fortunately, it did come broken. It was like smashed on this and smashed on this side. Over here, I have this white tissue holder. It makes it so aesthetically pleasing. You can put whatever tissues you want in that guy. And then I have this unconditional magazine. If I was gonna give you guys a tip when it comes to home decor, especially if you're a college student and you don't really wanna invest in it, use stuff that you already have, like magazines, purses, shoes. You'll see a lot of that in my room. Um, and like use your clothes, use things that you're passionate about. And here is a candle that I got from H&M. I really, really love it. You'll notice I have a couple like Greek and Roman statues as decoration. So going over here, I have this giant rug that I got from Amazon. Over here, I have this nine cube holder. I decided to spruce it up a little bit since it was it was really cheap. Um, I put some marble contact paper on top. I just randomly decided to do it because you could see the screws on top and I hated that look. And then another really good bargain that I got from Walmart is this frame. Originally, it was brown and um, it was 15 bucks and I saw it and I had this print that I needed to find a like a picture frame for. So I decided just to spray paint this gold and I think it turned out really good. It looks really expensive, but the whole thing maybe was like 20 bucks to do. Over here, I have this H&M vase. I absolutely love her, she's stunning. And then I have some flowers that I got inspiration from Pinterest and I just bought them from Hobby Lobby. Over here, I have this acrylic candle holder. This guy was um, from a thrift find that I had. Over here is my favorite decoration in the house. This is just a candle from Hometown Collective. If you go on my Instagram, you've seen that I've styled it a lot. I would highly recommend it. Um, they have different shapes too. It could be a good Christmas present since that's coming up. And then over here, I have another Sin Lig candle. This vase was from Ikea. She's stunning. And then I have some fake flowers there. 
And briefly going over the cubbies, I just have another candle that I made. I have a four set of these bins that actually match the large one over there, which I love. And then I have the letter B, a fake plant from Ikea. And I have another candle from Bath and Body Works. I love to kind of like decorate with them too. And there's a Himalayan salt lamp. Going over to this side of the room, which is probably my favorite part. I have this beautiful mushroom lamp that was from Target. And what's really cool is you just tap on it to get it to turn on, have a TV. And then we have this rug right here. I don't recommend it because you can't wash it and it's really hard to keep it looking nice. And um, this is probably as good as it's gonna get. And that was from Urban Outfitters. Another thing from Urban Outfitters that I actually love is these candle holders. I got this gold one that was large and then this acrylic um, one that was in the small size. I have a little candle holder over here and then a fake flower in a vase. I got the vase and the candle holder from thrifting. Then we have him over here. I got this statue from Amazon. Same with this statue over there. And then we just have some coffee table books from Chanel. I have the Son of Her Flowers and Milk and Honey, these two poetry books that I absolutely adore. And over here we have these bins that kind of are the same texture as the ones I showed before. I couldn't fit those ones underneath here, but I happened to find this in like the dollar section at Target and it was only three bucks for a set of two, so it was a good steal. Going to over here, I have this rug that I got from Amazon. It was really inexpensive. And I have this vase over here. Funny story, I originally saw a white vase like this from the Magnolia collection at Target, but it was like 30 bucks and I wasn't about to drop 30 bucks on a vase. So I went to Hobby Lobby and I actually got this for only 10 bucks. And the, I believe this is called Pompous. I got this for $3 at Trader Joe's. Over here I have this long mirror. It's not as tall as I wish it was, so that's why I have it leaned pretty far. This actually hides all the mess back here so just throwing that out there for decorating you can always just try to hide the stuff like for the cords i like push pinned it to be able to hide behind the bar i put this here to hide our wi-fi stuff the only thing that's still showing is this which bugs the crap out of me but i don't really know what to do to hide it so yeah i just wanted to like point that out because you can always hide them less aesthetic things. And I also got this mirror from Ikea. Over here, this is the bin I was talking about earlier from Target, and then we just have a couple of blankets in there. I also have my workout stuff at the very bottom, just that way it's easy to do in front of the TV. So walking back here, this is me and Rob's room. And Bambi, she's our unofficial third roommate. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a brief overview of the room. You can see how I use some clothing as decoration as opposed to like buying decoration. And over here is the walk-in closet. This is my makeup vanity. And then we're really lucky to have two sinks. So one of them's in here. This is my sink. And if you guys are wondering where Rob's stuff is, he actually has his own like boy room. So all the guy stuff is in there. He was kind enough to let me decorate the whole apartment. Okay, so starting over here, I just have this white rug. I have this really popular clothing rack from Ikea. It's honestly awesome. I use it functionally or I use it like for aesthetics. It really is very like versatile, honestly. And then I just have my coats on there for right now. Over here, I have this gold and marble side table. And then I have my five minute journal that I love to do every day little Sindley candle, and then I have a body vase with some fake flowers in it. Over here, we just have this really pretty wall decor. I got this from Target. I personally really love the fact that it was more of an antique gold and it had texture, but it was also bordered around white, so it gave it more of a cleaner look. Over here, I have white curtains that I got from Target, and then I have, again, those gold geometric rods and I, it was originally silver and I spray painted it gold. Then we just have a white bedding, nothing super expensive or super interesting. It's all from Ikea. And then I do have this silk pillowcase from Sephora. It's like the brand called Silk. It helps with like anti-aging in your hair. Over here, I have another side table. This one's more mid-century themed. 
He has his lip mask and then he has a candle, or I have a candle from Ikea. And also over here, that's one of those tray things that I was talking about from Amazon. I have the smaller version here too and I'm just using it for decoration. Walking over here, I have this big rug that I've had forever from TJ Maxx. And also from TJ Maxx, I have this adorable couch for Bambi. She loves to just lay on it and then just look down the hallway. I was obsessed with the acrylic legs, that's what really sold me on it. And then she just has one of her toys over there. I also put this pillow there to hide the outlets. I'm huge on trying to hide outlets or anything that kind of looks cluttered. And then I got this idea from Pinterest. I just had these two shelves from Ikea. You could do up to four shelves and it would look great. Um, I just didn't really want to put that many nails on the wall or anything like that. I have put shoes there before. Right now I just have bags because it's easier for me to grab them. I mean, you can even decorate with hats on it too. So coming over here to this little corner, I just have my Alex 9 drawer. It's kind of falling apart. That's why it kind of looks weird. I'm not gonna go through each one of the drawers just because it would take so long. This is probably my third time filming this house tour and they're all like an hour long each so I'm trying to cut it down. So I'm not gonna go over either the vanity drawers either. If you guys wanna see my makeup collection and like this Alex 9 drawer collection, feel free to comment down below so that way I know you guys are interested in it and I will totally film it. Right here we have a travel jewelry case that I also use as decorations. Gold earrings, my majeure stuff that I just like to keep inside the box. Have this gold jewelry stand that's great. It's from Urban Outfitters and it just holds pretty much all my gold jewelry. Over here we have this TV. This is actually my boyfriend's old TV that we were lucky enough to be able to put in our room. I had my TV there before and mine was super small. And I have a, another acrylic candle holder that I thrifted. Another Sindlig candle, same thing over there, and then another tea candle that I made myself. Going through the drawers, I just have this like underwear, socks, bras, and the organizers are from Ikea. This is just the pajama drawer. And then this is where I keep my leggings for working out. I also changed out the knobs for this. I got the knobs at Hobby Lobby. So like a random tip, if you wanna spice up your dresser, just change up the knobs. The only thing I'll add to is I know there's holes right here. I built this dresser when I was a sophomore in college and I put it on backwards. So, just haven't fixed it. Okay, so over here is my vanity. My boyfriend bought me this vanity mirror a couple years ago for my birthday. I absolutely love it. The only thing is it didn't come with its stand, so that's why it's leaning. But other than that, I totally love it. And this set, the Alex drawers, Alex 5 drawers, and the tabletop are all from Ikea too. This beautiful chair is from Amazon. It has some gold legs to it. It's super comfortable also. I have another one of those coasters that I was talking about from Bath & Body Works. And if you notice, there is a lot of marks on here. It's because I tend to put my hot iron on there and it kind of burns it. It's a bad habit. And I have this bathroom organizer that I hold just all my makeup that I need right then and there. That's from Target. And I just have miscellaneous stuff like a lip mask, perfume, primer, setting spray, perfume, highlight, and then this cleans your brushes too. And over here I have these rose gold beauty blender holders. They're actually super convenient so you don't have to use that the packaging that it comes in. And it was on from Amazon. It was like seven bucks for three of them. Over here I have this geometric, it's technically for a plant, but I decided to put my brushes in it. I like the fact that it's hiding the handles of the brushes so you can't totally tell that there are brushes from different sets. That's something I actually think about. All right, so going over here, giving an overview. So on top of the sink, I have, this is my Canon charger, toothbrush holder from Target, I have a skin fridge. I always have soaps from Bath & Body Works. I'm always going on the sales too. And then this gold organizer is from Target also. It matches the toothbrush holder. I just carry me and Rob's Q-tips and then floss. I have my large clips that I use pretty frequently. And then I used a whiskey cup for this. I saw this idea on YouTube. And so I just keep um, some white cotton pads in there. Just a towel from Opal House. I'm at Target opening up this cabinet that's on the wall. It's 
It's where I keep stuff that I need all the time. I have my Summer Friday stuff, some Olaplex, and some Drunk Elephant that they sent me. And then I am a Drunk Elephant enthusiast, so of course I have a ton of it. And then eyelash growth serum, sunscreen, tanner, and spot treatment, makeup remover, and face wash. Going down here, all I have is just like lotions and deodorant in this one. Here, I just have stuff for my teeth. I have Invisalign right now, so it kind of requires me to have like a bunch of stuff. Over here, I just, it's pretty empty. I have just all my hair products inside that container, and then I just have my brushes on top. And then this is my tanning drawer. I have my lotions. I have just like the brush and the tanner itself. My favorite is Loving Tan. This is my closet. It's definitely my favorite part of the apartment. We really lucked out with finding a place that was not that expensive, um, but had some really interesting, like unique quirks to the rooms. Absolutely adore this room. Um, here's some white bins. They're all from Ikea. I just have miscellaneous stuff like that holds hangers, that holds blankets, that holds um, any packages that I get that I need to keep packaging. And then um, this is holds bags. Originally, I had done this like color coordinated um, because I love doing it by color. However, I was realizing that I was kind of not seeing all the clothes that I had and didn't feel like as inspired. So I decided to go the route of just putting everything in the same category. So, you know, right here we have sweats, leggings, pants, jeans, shorts, skirts, jackets, sweaters, vests, all that good stuff. Way over here, I have my Calpac rose gold suitcase. I have a filing cabinet that's been chewed on by Bambi. And then I have my little lemon yoga mat. And then down here, as far as shoes go, I have my boots and it goes into tennis shoes and then summer shoes are a little bit further back that way. So walking into the bathroom. It's pretty standard, it's nothing fancy. We just have two like decorative white towels. I have a toilet paper holder and then we have poopery. Ladies, if you live with a guy, poopery is amazing. We have these little decorations from Target. I also got this trash can years ago from TJ Maxx too, and it's really cute, step one. And then over here we have our squatty potty. We just have this gray rug from Ikea. I have a gold holder that holds all of our towels. And then our bathroom cabinet is the last thing I'm gonna show you guys. Just a little overview. Obviously I love the color pink. Okay. So starting up here, I just have all three or all four of these containers are from Walmart. I wish I could have gotten more, but they don't really sell the color anymore. So in here, I just have um, a PR box. It's actually my first one from Drunk Elephant. So I wanted to save it for memories. And then I have cleaning stuff in this one. In this container, we have medical stuff. This small container contains hand soaps. And this little small caboodle contains all my travel size products. Separate the towels by whites and colors, and then small ones, my pink camper, and then we have some toilet paper or stocked up on tissues, especially the ones that are Vicks. Those are seasonal, they're great. And down here, we just have these two pink polka dot boxes. They're actually called Bella, so of course I had to get it. And yeah, that is our bathroom. If you got to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. I know it was a long one. And if you happen to like the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys actually really liked it. And if you happen to like me, feel free to follow me on YouTube so that way you can keep up with any new content that I come out with. And also, if you want to follow me on my socials, I will put my Insta blog down below.